G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for just one more look at the 2023 Grand Final and what an epic encounter it was. By the time you're watching this, it is probably the day after the Grand Final. It's still Grand Final day here because of the time difference, but I'm gathering that a lot of the Collingwood fans watching this probably have some sore heads, um, but nonetheless, we'll probably be scouring the internet for ways to relive what was one of the better Grand Finals of the modern era, let's be honest. For Brisbane fans, there's probably not a single Brisbane fan watching this right now, but there's a little bit in this video for you guys as well. So what we're going to do is just take a little look back on uh, what was a spectacular grand final and I'll pick out some of my moments that I thought were big in the context of the game and certainly very memorable. I've come up with nine or ten. Some of them are moments and some of them are groups of moments uh, if that makes any sense. Some of them were pivotal to the end result and some of them were just big moments in that moment. So we're going to go in chronological order and the first moment to isolate is it's got to be the opening goal of the game. Uh, the first goal of a grand final is always huge and uh, particularly if it was going to be the home side with what was inevitably going to be an absolutely deafening roar. You know, picking Dacos to be the opening goal scorer in this game would have almost felt too cliche. And to be honest, I didn't expect it. That surprised me a little. But uh, sure enough, he gets awarded a high free kick tackle uh, dead in front of goal and goes back and slots a set shot that sends the crowd rough. For the opening couple of minutes, it felt like Collingwood was going to steamroll him a little bit, as was my prediction. But sure enough, Brisbane would eventually steady and it would be Zach Bailey in particular with two fantastic first quarter goals. First one was pretty damn good. He kicked two goals from the same pocket in this term. It was, the first one was a great one on the run and the second one was even better. Like I said in another video, it reminded me of Dugowie's effort against West Coast in 2018 in the same part of the ground. But this one was more spectacular. He smothers a Mason Cox kick, he shrugs off two Collingwood would-be tacklers and then he snaps true. And it was a great way to really stem the, the flow of momentum that was previously going Collingwood's way. So that one sticks out as a very memorable moment from this grand final. So obviously Brisbane have hit the front there. They lead for a little bit in that opening patch in the first turn before my check snaps truly a great snapshot from the pocket absolutely but the moment i want to isolate is jordan Dugowie going back takes a mark uh, about 51 meters out i think there's 20 seconds to go he shows great presence of mind to go back and take the set shot not mess around with it and we know that jordan Dugowie was certainly within range from about 55 meters and you know that he's a player for the moment so to be honest when i was watching him go back i had no doubt he would kick this goal it would be an after the siren shot i think he knew that hence why he didn't try and play on and it gave collingwood a 10 point lead at quarter time which would have been a huge boost and the roar of the crowd as the players walked back to the quarter time huddle would have been significant. The Lions were pretty unfortunate to concede late goals in each of the first three terms and obviously that may have been telling in the end. Of course it would happen again at halftime with Jack Crisp slotting a long range set shot to give the Pies what I think was a six point lead at halftime. Now the next moment isn't so much just a moment it's uh, kind of just a performance but where a lot of the damage was done by Bobby Hill in his Norm Smith winning performance was in the second term. It's actually the first time in 25 years a player had gone into halftime with four goals to his name in a grand final. We know that he kicked four goals overall and have 18 possessions and be super influential, but three goals in that quarter, including a really high-flying hanger. I actually commented before the game, it's rare that you see players really go for those types of hangers in grand finals. I thought it was going to be Lincoln McCarthy. It was Bobby Hill, and gee, what a second quarter it was. So you have to include Bobby Hill, and in particular his second term, in your best moments. Now we'll skip a little bit ahead to the last quarter here in this this one isn't such a bad moment, but it was certainly a pivotal moment. And I'm referring to Jared Berry giving away a 50 meter penalty on steel side bottom when it was, you know, on the distant wing, sort of near the boundary line. And it brings uh, side bottom within range of goal. And naturally he would go back and kick the goal. Now watching that moment in real time, I remember thinking it was a very undisciplined play, but I'll leave that opinion up to you. Jared Berry had a couple of those that he'd like to get back. And obviously when the margin is less than a goal at the end of the game, it looks certainly pivotal. And that put the powers in front with four minutes and 23 remaining and it would be their final goal. But a couple of minutes before that was not just a moment, but a kind of a collection of moments where Jared Berry actually does a really good spin move. He wheels out of trouble. He sends the ball forward. Charlie Cameron gathers the ball in the forward pocket, puts it to his own advantage and snaps truly on his left foot to put the lines in front. This in itself looked like it could have been a match winning moment, but sure enough, Collingwood would have the almost instant response with Nick Dacos and Jordan Dugowie combining. Dacos hands it off to Dugowie who goes from long range as he so often does and you just know from that range in a pivotal moment Jordan Dugowie is probably going to kick it and that's exactly what he did. Now following that steel side bottom goal like I said that looked like it might have been the sealer Brisbane did get one back the game kind of looked over Hugh McCluggage does well to keep the ball inside he keeps it in play he wheels onto his right and finds Danaher with a well executed pass and Danaher quickly marks the ball snaps over his shoulder and suddenly there is 93 seconds left to play and the Lions trail by just four points. Now in the interest of fairness I will point out that uh, there was a little bit of contention 
position with this particular goal. Did Hugh McCluggage keep it in play or did it actually go out of bounds? Perhaps this one levels up with uh, the moment that I'm about to mention. The second last moment that is worth mentioning is the Lockie Neal free kick that was paid advantage to the Brisbane Lions, which to be honest, really should not have been paid advantage. Neil gets the ball, he's legged as he hands it off. In fairness to the umpire, I can see why that would have been a difficult call because calling the play back there when Brisbane almost sort of appeared to be out would have also been a brave call had it influenced the game. But it was very, very easy to see almost immediately that it was possible that the actual Lions players didn't realize they even had a free kick and the advantage really wasn't there. So we will never know if that would have resulted in a Brisbane Lions goal. Neil was too far to score, but it would have given him a certain inside 50 with not long to go. And you'd have to say that was a really pivotal moment in this game. Grand final. And finally, the best for last, depending on how you saw this game, was the final siren. And regardless of who I go for in a grand final, regardless of how bad the grand final is, I will always stay on to watch the final siren and see the reaction of the players and the fans and the coaches alike. And this didn't disappoint. A lot of these players had their hearts broken in 2018. Haha. -ha. I'm only joking. They would have had their hearts broken. This was an absolutely thrilling grand final. They had to work until the very end. Collingwood were very, very deserving premiers. They are the kings of the close contest over the last two years. They've been one wonderful in these tight moments. And the cherry on top for all of these moments was the fact that Craig McRae announced that he had, uh, well, a brand new baby born that morning. So what a day. I heard a rumor that she's going to be called Maggie. I don't know if that's a joke or a pun. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. It's kind of funny if it's true. But anyway, guys, that is the standout moments from what was a fantastic grand final, at least in my opinion. Let me know in the comments section anything that I might have missed. As always, appreciate your support on the channel. It's been a really good little period of growth here for the channel. I have you guys to thank for that. So I really appreciate it. And we're going to be back with some trade period stuff very very soon i'm already working on my next trade video once again appreciate you all commiserations lion fans congratulations magpies fans and i'll see you in the next video cheers